Hello, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and in today's sewing tutorial I'm going to make a pinafore dress. I made an apron in this same kind of pattern, I will link the tutorial down below and now I turn it into a dress pattern with an open back and a boxed plated circle skirt. All coming up in this tutorial, please keep watching. I made this dress from a curtain that I bought in the thrift store. Okay, let's start by making the top part. So I started this project by making a rectangle. Though so to measure this rectangle, I, I measured my belly and I just took a little bit more than half of my body size, if that makes any sense. That's 55 five centimeters or give me a second for a quick Google search. 21 and a half inches. Then I copied this rectangle three times and the reason that I copied it three times is because this is a backless open back model and I'm not going to wear a bra under this so I'm going to set three layers to have some support for my ladies. Then I measured the space between the ends of my two bra straps and now I'm going to draw a line with this measurement on the middle of this rectangle. Then I connected these points with the end of the fabric to create kind of a not complete triangle. I don't think triangle is the right mathematical term for this. But yeah, do create this shape. Then I pinned two of my pieces together and I sew them on the sides with a simple straight stitch. I also zigzagged around the edges of my fabric to prevent them from unraveling. I'm going to use the third front piece to finish this top half nicely. So I'm going to place my front fabric on the other two pieces with the pretty sides or the right sides toward the other two. Then I marked an opening from around 10 centimeters or 4 inches. Now I'm going to sew this all closed except the opening. I also zigzagged at the edges to prevent them from unraveling. And now I'm going to turn this baby around. So you just simply turn it around and now you have your front piece with neatly finished edges. Okay, now I'm going to make the straps. And to measure these, I pinned my front piece on. Yes, this is a different front piece because this one was too small and I changed it. But anyway, then I measured from the beginning of the front piece just over my back and I crossed my measuring tape to do this because I also wanted to cross my straps. Then I added 10 centimeters or 4 inches to this measurement just to be sure because this is better too long than too short. Okay so then I drew this into a long rectangle and the straps have a width of 10 centimeters or 4 inches. I made two straps because you, know, you need two straps for this model. And now I'm going to turn them around. So I pinned and sewn them together, right sides together. And then I used a little safety pin to turn them around. This takes a while, but I just found this way. But I just uh, personally find this the best way to make neat straps. So you just pin it, sew it together and turn it around. Once I turned the straps around, I finished the edges off by zigzagging three or four times around them to create neat edges. And then I aligned them up with my front piece, just neatly at the side. I pinned them together and I, and I got my inner cookie dough to attach them in a long loving relationship forever with a simple straight stitch. Now I'm going to make a box plated circle skirt. This is a circle skirt combined with a box plated skirt. My two favorite skirts combined and this makes one really big skirt. So I started by making a circle skirt. And to make a circle skirt, you need to take your waist measurement and divide this by 6.28 or, or two times pi, but not the good tasting pi. The matte pie, sadly enough. And to make 
a box plated skirt you need three times your waist so to combine this you need to make a circle skirt that is three times too big for you so you need to multiply the result you got from when you divided your waist by 6.28 or double pi by three this way you have enough space to make your boxes on your circle skirt then I use this divide by a 6.28 measurement to draw a small circle on top of my folded fabric. For the length of this skirt, you need to draw a second circle and you need to add your desired skirt length to the measurement of your little circle to make a big second circle. Um, but I didn't got enough fabric to make one big circle skirt, so I'm going to make two half circle skirts and this will form one big circle skirt. So, so I divided this measurement by two to make two half circle skirts and to end up with one circle skirt that was three times too big for me to make the boxes. I know this makes it more complicated, but I didn't got any other choice, sorry. I have another video where I made a box plate circle skirt where I didn't do this and I will link this down below. Okay, now it's box time! So I kind of made my boxes by feeling and I'm going to insert a clip from another video here because the footage of this video is much much clearer and, and you know, recycling and stuff. It's explained better. So here is me in one of my other videos. Please enjoy. So I marked a line every 8 centimeters or 3.14 inches for people who prefer that weird way of measuring. So to make the plate, you take your second line and you fold it to your first line. Pin this in place. So then you take your third line and you fold that to your fourth. This is how you create the box. Pin this in place as well. I also put a pin in the middle to be sure that the box would stay where it belonged in place. And then you take the line that is in front of you now and you fold this to the edge of your box. Pin this in place as well. And then you take the line that is in front of you now and you fold this to the line on the other side to create the second box. And now you continue to do this until your full skirt is boxed. Okay, so here is me from the present back. Okay, so here is me from the present. And these are my boxes on the blue fabric. And now I'm going to sew this in. Take your time to sew your boxes and be sure that they are not folded. I always sew this twice to be sure that they won't come loose. Okay, and now the best part of the video, I added pockets. So I'm going to start by drawing the pocket piece. You just simply start by drawing a flat line and make this line big enough so your hands can easily slit in and out of this. This is the width of your pocket. And then you draw this into an oval shape. Now I'm going to copy this four times to make, to make two pocket pieces. And then I cut these out. And now I'm going to add these to my skirt. Uh, for me this will be quite easy because I have two separated skirt pieces. So I have to place these 22 centimeters down uh, from the waist. So I measured this and I pinned my pocket to this. And then I sewn the pocket in place first. And now I'm going to close the whole skirt. So you make your skirt with then I also had it in my second pocket but I didn't close the top of this because I'm going to add a zipper in this but first you need a waistband so I measured the length of my skirt and I got a waistband with the same length I maybe added a centimeter or half an inch 
and the width is 10 cm as well. So I cut this out, I zigzagged around it to prevent it from unraveling, and then I ironed it double and I ironed the edges in as well. And this way I can easily fold this over my skirt, pin this in place and sew the waistband. While sewing the waistband, you need to pay attention that you sew the boxes in neatly. Because if you make folds in the boxes now, you're going to ruin them. So sew, sew this really, really slow. Take your time, listen to a relaxing podcast, you know. Do it chill. Then I added in a zipper. And I might admit that maybe a side zipper wasn't the best idea for this model because I get to end up fixing the top part around it. So yeah, if you can make a zipper at the back or maybe even a, an elastic, I think that's a better idea. Okay, so now we are at the final step. And that's a good thing because I'm getting a little tired. Okay, so we're going to set these two pieces together. So I pinned my top part to my skirt. I pinned this from the inside, if that makes any sense. And now I'm going to sew this with a simple straight stitch. And ta-da! Now you only need to fix the straps. And then I pulled my straps into where I wanted them to be. And then I marked this with a piece of chalk. I lost the footage where I was marking it, but you just kind of draw all over it, like a toddler on a wall, so you can see where you need to place your straps. And then I've sewn this in with a straight stitch, and your dress is finished. I just made A little dart at the side of my ladies because I didn't want them to pop out. I also did an attempt to add a few darts under my ladies but I didn't like how they turned out so I got it out again. And I sewn in the side darts and da 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 da, this finishes the dress. And now we are back on the beach, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this is the end of this week's video. And I want to thank you all for watching, especially if you made it to the end and you listen and you listened to 12 minutes and 20 seconds of my whining. Thank you so much for that. Subscribe for more videos like this. Also like the video and comment to give me some more engagement. Okay, that was it. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.